So we're by the saltwater today. So let's talk about mouthwash and a simple, cost-effective, readily available solution for your mouthwash needs. And I got my, my little guy here with me today to help us out. So this is salt water. No, you don't have to go to the ocean and gather it up. You can simply mix sea salt into a glass of water and just start swishing away. I got five benefits about swishing with sea salt could help the majority of the population. And I think the majority of the population are completely overlooking it. And at the end, I'll discuss exactly how I do it with myself and my children. And I have to give massive props to a patient who actually did this with her kids and I saw the benefit and that's what started me saying I gotta try this with my kids and I gotta make sure there's actually you know research backing this up lo and behold there was research and uh, I've enjoyed it with my mouth as well and so um, you know with one year this patient's kids went from a lot of issues a lot of ulcerations a lot of cavities cavitations come back the next year and their, their oral mucosa their, their teeth looked amazing and they hadn't even been to the dentist. So, it's a big time. All right, so the first one is swishing with sea salt, salt water. You know, it's been shown to reduce bacteria in the mouth that promote plaque and cavity formation. This is really true oral hygiene. You know, swishing with sea salt or salt water solution, it can assist in preventing gum inflammation and reduce the risk of cavities. Who doesn't want to reduce the risk of cavities? Specifically, it has been shown to reduce Streptococcus mutans bacteria, which is the main bacteria culprit in cavity formation. And there was a study done or published in the Journal of Pedodontics and Preventative Dentistry that showed a statistically significant reduction in the plaque scores in people pre-rinse with salt water and then post-rinse. That's pretty awesome, right? Just rinsing your mouth out, plaque scores are changing with sea salt water. None of the crazy stuff, no Listerines, you know, no, no weird things, no nanoparticles, just salt water. So number two is it helps with healing wounds, specifically in our mouth. So salt water can aid in the healing process of oral wounds, you know, sores, canker sores. And, you know, it also has this mild antiseptic property to it. So it's very, and it's very gentle. You know, it's just that, that light friction that um, comes when you have salt mixed with water and it just is cleansing of irritated areas and promotes faster recovery. In fact, there is actually a 2017 study showed that rinsing with table salt, sodium chloride, chloride significantly upregulated the expression of type one collagen and fibronectin in the oral mucosa. It's amazing, right? It also promoted human gingival fibroblast migration to the area of ulceration. And it increased something called um, the extracellular matrix, um, as well as the cytoskeleton uh, protein production. So this is, I know, a bunch of big words, but basically this means that swishing with sea salt water or salt water set the mouth up for massive healing success. Number three, salt water has demonstrated anti-inflammatory effects, which this is hugely beneficial. You know, if you have those irritated gums, you want to reduce that oral, oral inflammation. And this can be particularly useful for individuals with, uh, you know, gingivitis or you know, other gum, gum diseases. And gum disease is kind of rampant right now. So I think this is a fantastic idea with, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you. That's the deal, it's, not, it's so benign. And there's multiple studies showing that salt water or salt water mouth washing has this anti-inflammatory effect similar to, similar to chlorhexidine which chlorhexidine is used all over the place. Even in, in periodontal surgeries, using salt water post periodontal surgery was massively beneficial, just like chlorhexidine. But chlorhexidine, what is that? You know, it, it's a toxic substance. You don't want to be putting chlorhexidine on your body, in your body all the time. Whereas swishing with, with salt water, no big deal. And you got to remember, you know, what goes in you goes, goes way in you. If you swish with salt water, you're getting some sodium that way. You switch chlorhexidine, you're getting some of those that junk in your body. It's not just leaving to your mouth because you got all those capillaries readily uh, available to, to absorb things in the, mo in the mucosa there. All right, number four, I'm talking breath freshening. So halitosis, nobody wants halitosis. That's that undesirable breath. Hey. It's something we all want to abstain from. And I think we kind of all want um, those around us to abstain from as well. Is <laughs> that halitosis? And uh, 
So, you know, instead of popping the mint loaded with sugar or you know, artificial sweeteners, all you gotta do is take one minute, swish with some sea salt before you head out the door, and you know what? You neutralize a bunch of this, this bacteria, these unpleasant odors come to your mouth, and the salt water solution, you know, it's just clean. There's no there's junk in it. You know, it's not like Listerine where you're, um, you know, putting some alcohol in your, bo in your body and you're, uh, you're drying out your old cavity in the process. That just makes things worse than it. I mean, it makes you that much more susceptible to bad breath the next time you're going out. All right, and finally, we all, we all got water. We all got sea salt available to us, right? Super cost effective, super accessible. I mean, could there be a simpler way of supporting our oral health? I don't think so. I would get to swishing. Okay, so this is what I do. I get a 12 ounce mason jar. I fill it with filtered water and one tablespoon of red and real salt. I keep it in the bathroom. This is my, my children's bathroom. And at night, after we brush, after we floss, we take a swig and we swish for one minute. Then we spit it out. It works hey, great. I go, to, I go to bed with a fresh mouth. Um, you can do the same thing in the morning if you, if you have the opportunity. I would recommend giving this a try. I'm not your doctor, but um, it shouldn't hurt you. If you know somebody who has issues with their breath or you know gingival issues, man, pass it along. Be a great friend or family member. I'll talk to you guys next time.